I thought this was interesting. Uh, it's time, I guess, to stock up on rice. And uh, this uh, report, in the end, it is uh, contemplated that uh, the, what is being described will have a negative impact on uh, profits. But uh, I guess that will be the least of the problems. This podcast is brought to you by Odiogo.com. We prices to soar. Ug99 fungus spreading all over the world. Ug99 is a destructive fungus that threatens to wipe out 80% of the world's wheat crop. Scientists in Canada and around the world are trying to develop resistant wheat strains resistant to this fungus that has spread from Africa to Iran and is likely to show up soon in India and Pakistan, and from there to the rest of the world. The stem, black or cereal rusts are caused by the fungus Pachinia graminis. Destruction of wheat crops threatens to cause widespread famine. It may also cause a very large increase in the prices of staples such as bread and pasta. The UG99 fungus, also known as stem rust, is likely to spread worldwide, either through mind-blown spores or carried by people. It's a time bomb, Jim Peterson, an expert on wheat genetics at Oregon State University in Corvallis, told the Los Angeles Times. It moves in the air, it can move in clothing on an airplane. We know it's going to be here. It's a matter of how long it's going to take. I think it is important people start recognizing what a big threat this is. This could mean world famine. This is quite the deal, said Rob Graff, a research scientist with the Agri-Food Canada's Research Centre in Lethbridge, Alberta. The UN also says UG99 is a major threat to world food security. Stem rust is a long-time foe of wheat farmers and afflicted wheat's wild ancestors before that. The most recent outbreak in the U.S. was in 1962 when over 5% of the crop was killed. Resistant strains of wheat apparently overcame the problem. But a new strain appeared in Uganda in 1999 and began spreading from there. UG99 is a strain of black stem rust. It is virulent to the great majority of wheat varieties. Unlike other rusts, which only partially affect crop yields, UG99 can bring 100% crop loss. Up to 80% yield losses were recently recorded in Kenya. Investment prices wheat trades on the Chicago Board of Trade CBOT, under symbol W. Current prices, where wheat is produced courtesy WIC Invest click to enlarge from an investment point of view, a couple of companies and ETFs that I follow that are directly related to wheat are, DBA this ETF track the price and yield performance of the Deutsche Bank Liquid Commodity Index, Optimum Yield Agriculture Excess Return. The index is a rules-based index composed of futures contracts on some of the most liquid and widely traded agricultural commodities, corn, wheat, soybeans and sugar. DBA is currently close to oversold, with RSI 7 is 38.8 and RSI 4. Anyway, this is all uh, part of the blog that I have this recording from. Uh, I checked it out. You can uh, find a number of publications also uh, in the science community. Uh, that, uh, well, uh, let's say uh, verify the, the truth of this uh, problem. And I thought I might uh, bring it uh, to, uh, to YouTube.